Hello and welcome to the Cabin Boy and it's Worldcast coming to you from beautiful Montreal. This is a city that has incredible architecture, fantastic food and truly wonderful people. And it also has some amazing yarn shops. Bonjour et bienvenue encore une fois chez Cabin Boy Next. Nous sommes ici à la belle ville de Montréal avec une histoire et une architecture super et incroyable. Et aussi les boutiques de laine aussi super. So sit back, grab your favorite drink, and we'll show you some of our favorite yarn shops. in beautiful Montreal and we have just kicked off our yarn crawl. We're going to be going to some of the some of our favorite yarn shops and we're, right now we're at La Babinus and we're on our way in to look at some fantastic yarn. So come and join us. Great, how are you doing? Good, thank you. I'm Christopher, and this is the other guy, Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. And it's a great store. Thank you. Fantastic. So we have just kicked off our yarn crawl, and we are looking at some of the best yarn shops in Montreal. There and you yours go. is on the list. So just wondering if you take us around and show us, show us, show off your store. Sure, absolutely. Awesome. Well, we have a nice little store. It's small and cozy, but we have great big windows so it's always uh, yes. light and sunny and uh, when it's not COVID uh, prevention time we have nice couches in the front where people can oh, sit nice. and knit with us and unfortunately we can't do that now but yeah. soon soon enough. But when you do have that do, they, do you see people coming here? Oh yeah. In the front? That's yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah and being that they're in the front window you yeah. know, it draws attention oh, and sure. yeah people get curious they want to know what we're up to. Yep. So, yeah. Do you have so, knit nights? Uh, we have the, not on that, a regular basis, yeah. not now obviously, yeah, yeah. but it's not something that we did really regularly. Yep. But we did them like once in a while, sporadically, and mm -hmm. we also have friends who own um, a brasserie right down the street, oh, yes. and we used to do uh, Yari Tricot. Oh. So that's an awesome match, beer and knit. Absolutely. So we have knit afternoons on their uh, either on their terrace or inside. Yeah. Oh, nice. Doing. Yeah, that was a lot of fun too. Perfect combination. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how's your store laid out? Well, um, mostly by uh, type of fibers. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the yeah. That's what we try to go for. Yeah. Obviously, it gets mixed up. We get so much new stuff all the time, and you know, so some things just go out of style or they sure. go out of production, and we bring new stuff in, so we fit it in. But um, our warm, fluffy. Hairy stuff is mostly in the front here. Oh, I love how you describe that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, awesome. like the, yeah, like the winter stuff. And that's the things from, yeah, we don't have anything new from this year yet because yep. it's still not winter, but sure. uh, that's where it goes. Awesome. Mixed in there, we have some of our own house brands and some of our in house dyed stuff as well. Oh, let's so, see that. So, like these guys here. Yep. This and these guys are dyed by one of my teammates, Marie. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's a merino roving type of thing. Yep. Really nice. I really like that one. This one is one of our house yarns. It's um, a mix of uh, alpaga and merino, and it's a chaînette. So it's it's um, it, we say in French to see. It's not. Pun, it's not twisted. Oh, no, 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 it's, no, no. Um, trissé is uh, trissé is um, braided. 
Yeah, braided? braided is tressé. It's, oh, it's, it's that's woven. Different. It's woven. Oh. It's like a shirt. Yeah. 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 J'ai juste, j'ai, j'ai nice. juste appris un nouveau mot. <laughs> c'est pas, c'est pas que ce que je pensais. Hein. Non, tressé is like the braids tressé, in your hair, braids. and tissé is like a, a weave, uh, like a weave. Oui. Yeah. Yeah. So it's tressé. woven. Oh my gosh. And uh, this one is one of our favorites as well. It's a baby alpaca from Peru mm. that we love, love, love. Nice. So, yeah, so that's all the warm stuff, or the yeah. warmer stuff, because everything's pretty warm in here. <laughs> but, and then we have our sock yarn. So that's a lot of the sock stuff, the fingering stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Colorista is one of our dyers that we have uh, here that we like a lot. We love Genevieve and everything she does. Big fans. Nice. And sock yarn carries over to here but then we get into the plant-based yarns so this is another we have more and more actually now that i look at it so these guys are recycled yarn yeah these are cotton cotton mixes over here we have hemp more cotton look at this blue oh my god that is gorgeous yeah that is beautiful they have very bright colors in really that. nice yeah that's a Nice cotton. Yeah. And then again, here are more cotton, more cotton mixes, more cotton blends. And these are slowing down a bit because we're hoping to get into fall yes. sometime. <laughs> but that's, this week we're still pretty much into winter. Into summer, sorry. That's great. You've got a big selection of um, plant based yeah, yarns. Yeah, we do. Well, here uh, in this area of Montreal, there's a lot of vegans and yep. uh, vegetarian and uh, yep. so we tend to these people and then there's also everybody who knits for summer wear that's if, right right and yep. uh, for babies and uh, for lighter stuff it's a uh, I think now there's so much more variety available that it's fun to offer a nice blend of uh, fibers Excellent. I recognize this yeah we love action stuff yep and this is, uh, sorry, so this is a Quebec-based uh, fiber, but it's dyed by Marie, the, my, my teammate who dyes our in-house stuff. Yep. She also has her own business, our, our little dyer uh, business. She's starting because she's still in school and everything, so she doesn't have a lot of time, but she yep. does beautiful stuff. That's great. So this is, so this is naturally dyed? Yeah. Is this naturally no, dyed as well? Not. No, it's okay. not. Okay. The, the, no, the link good. between these guys is that they're all fibers from Canada. Oh, excellent. This is all fiber yep. from Quebec. Yep. And Ash's stuff is yep. from her neck of the woods yep. in Manitoba. So. Great. And down here is most of our untreated yarn. I'm very big in untreated stuff. I know that some, you know, there's a very big need for superwash or treated yarn yeah. because you know, sometimes you need it and you need to wash whatever you make, but I prefer rough and dry yeah. untreated yarn. So yeah. up until here, that's a lot wow. of that. That's a that's a fairly big selection as well. You don't usually see that in stores. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And so how do people it sounds like you're in the right area for people to I think to, so. Yeah. 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 And sometimes people who have never worked with Undyed yarn or untreated yarn or yeah. uh, rougher uh, uh, breeds or that you know sometimes they they're not sure they find it rough they find it dry or yeah. but I I'm so convinced <laughs> and I love it so I mean that's it's my jam you know I really yeah. like dry that's untreated great. toothy yarn so I think I sell it well <laughs> <laughs> and good. they come back and they they yeah. believe me and they try it and most of the time they like it so. That's, That's good great. for me, yeah. Well, and for indie dyers that are dying with untreated yeah. wool, you have to be so careful because uh, I can felt a lot easier. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's great. Lo- I pills? love seeing this. It's great. You know, sometimes it pills, pills yeah, also, but I yeah. mean, it's part of the deal, you know? Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. And this section here is uh, a, a, a acrylic or acrylic blends. These guys are all recycled acrylic, which I oh, like. Yeah. yeah. And this is a mix, the, the SL mix, because that's another, you know, people need that too. So if our clients want it, you get to offer them a blend that they like. So you get something for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot of um, 
uh, beginner clients. Like we have a big portion of our clientele that's beginners. So you have to, you know, you can't throw them in the merino and treated roving for their first yep. net, right? And also, surprisingly, there's a lot of kids that knit in this area. Fantastic. Teachers knit with the kids in school, yep. and oh, so they so also here. need uh, something to start with. You know, you yep. can't. It has to be fun to knit, fun to unknit, yep. and uh, washable. <laughs> so yeah, we have. I think we have stuff for everyone. So when you when you when you're talking about the beginner knitters, mm -hmm. what 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 demographic is that? Is it all over the place? It, it is. Oh, it, wow. That's the one question I can hardly answer. What yep. demographic is our clientele or the beginners? Yep. It really is all over the place. It's the kids. It's uh, the young mothers who just found out they're pregnant or just had a baby. It's the young grandmothers oh, who yes. skipped a generation and never learned knitting. Yep. But now that they're grandmothers, they want to learn. It's uh, guys who go back to work uh, after a pandemic and want yep. something to change their minds. It's, really, it's all over the place. It's a lot of fun. What percentage are male? Roughly. Roughly, I'd say maybe 25. Oh, oh yeah, no, gosh. yeah, yeah, and wow. it's rising. That, that's why it's hard to answer yep. because it's rising That's fantastic. all the time. Yeah, that's yeah, great. yeah. Terrific. And the, the most fun is when the first time they come in, they come in with a, a wife or a girlfriend and they're not sure and they don't know and they, they tell you, I know nothing about knitting. Yeah, I know <laughs> you know nothing about knitting. And they, they come back the next time, oh, she's going to make me a hat because I... You know, now that I see her make hats, I want my own. And then they come back and I'm going to make my own hat. Yeah, now you want to make your own hat, right? So that's a lot of fun, too. You know? Oh, that's great. How long have you been open? The store has been open, like, in like one in, way or another yeah. since the late 50s. But yes. it's been on this street since 85, but yeah. in another, sure. uh, another place, another door front. Yeah. And I've been owner for five years. Five oh, years nice. July 1st. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's terrific. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been an adventure for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so when people, like when we go to other yarn shops, they talk about, some of them will say, you know, this shop is really a DK fingering shop, or this one is a worsted shop, or sometimes it just changes throughout the season. What would you say, how would you characterize yours? I am definitely not a one size. Yep. Yeah, That's for great. sure, for yep. sure. Um. I think we change, we we vary a lot our stuff. There's of course there's staples. There's things that things that you keep around all the time. But it it depends on the season. It depends on what's you know what's the hit thing or what people want to yeah. see. It depends on someone I meet, like Ash for example. Uh, you know we we connected at some point and yeah. I fell in love with what she they were doing and we started carrying Ash's sure. stuff because and. People like it, so we bring it back or whatever. Genevieve, same thing. She has new collections, so we bring in our new collections because we know that we like what she does. Yes. So it's yeah. really, I I would have a very hard time categorizing. Categorize, yeah, for sure. Categor what's the word? Categorize. Yeah. Like, oh, well, you know what I, mean. <laughs> I, I just cannot. Yep. Putting myself in a category. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's wonderful. I think we try, What the one thing I would say that we try a lot is to, choose fibers that have the least impact, the least sure. environmental impact, of yeah. course. Uh, so like I was telling you earlier, we try to keep away from a lot of the treated stuff, even though yeah. we do have some, but, and all the GOTS and Ecotex. And we try to bring in as much as possible because that's really important. Yes. And then when possible, and that's mostly on the accessories side, I would say, but we try to bring in local as you know as local as possible because yeah. yarn is hard and you know it. You know, you know it. We can't have air, only yarn from Quebec. It's impossible. It's not sustainable. We would not that's be right. able to do it. So yeah. as close as possible or as low impact as possible. Sure. That's what we try. Yeah, fantastic. To achieve, of course. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's a beautiful, really, really nice Thank uh, you. yarn shop. It's moved around a lot in the last few years because, you know, of everything we had to reorganize when we first closed down completely and yep. then we were allowed to reopen. The cache was right there and this wall, we used it as a catalog wall. So we had one of oh. everything so people could see the colors and touch, but that was it and everything else was in the back. <laughs> and, uh, and then we evolved <laughs> and I think we're back to pretty normal now. Yep. 
I noticed some macrame in the window. Yeah. Yeah, is that, uh, do you see a lot of people? That has been huge. Yeah. In the last, I would say three years ago, I think we brought it in in the summer at first, and it was a little summer something, and Maggie would give little workshops. We'd do uh, the plank hangers, and it was cute, and people were like, oh, that's right back, really? I used to do it when I was uh, a kid yeah. or whatever. But it's been summer, winter, we kept it, and it's been a big awesome. hit. Yeah, yeah. And, and our rope is uh, made in Canada too, oh. so that, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Where in Canada? In Ontario. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Small, it's a family owned shop in Ontario, and uh, yeah, we're really excited about that. And it's North American cotton, so. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, that's great. Yeah. In terms of percentage between knitters and crocheters, what, what does that look like? More knitters than crocheters. Yeah. Uh, maybe like 75 25 or 80 mm. 20. It's a yeah. lot more knitters. There's for shares. There was one lady here earlier, and a fun fact is neither knowing me or I are very big crocheters, so yeah. we're you know we know enough to sure. help, but not enough to know everything to help. <laughs> but yeah, it's not. It's a smaller proportion. Excellent. Well, you did a great job, and so happy, so happy we came up here today. Yeah, I'm glad you could make it. <laughs> <laughs>
parle français aussi, mais moi, c'est les mots la même chose. Je ne connais pas tous les mots et je oui. connais en anglais, mais pas souvent en français, j'oublie. Ah, mais vous êtes fantastique! <rire> merci. Ça fait longtemps depuis, ça fait depuis mon école secondaire, ça fait ah, des, des années. <rire> ça ne paraît pas, sérieux? Ça paraît vraiment pas. <rire> ok, mais merci. Um, so, around here, we have some more uh, notions. So, notions are things like little yeah. items to knit with, of course, little uh, reminders. So, uh, we also have some uh, soap. So, we had some more soap up front, but then we have some more like single use soaps that are great for gifts, too. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to include those, like a sweater that you just gifted. Um, we've got even some candle stuff. So, wow. like wick cutters and actual candles, and they're uh, also local, I believe. So, right behind you. Um, so here we have some more of our summer yarns. Mm -hmm. uh, so cotton linen, uh, merino cotton blends, even uh, some cotton linen blends. Uh, and then some, some more here. And so these, typically we see a lot of our clients buying during the summer, of course. But, you know, like everyone, if you want to start during the winter to knit something that's going to be for the summer. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Whatever they like. Also, baby blankets with cotton. Oh, yeah. Yep. So it's sorted by base and weight or? So, yes, this one's a bit of a mix of everything. So it's this one's more the base. Yeah. Uh, weights, I mean, we sort of know because we work here. Yeah. And then we'll direct the, the customer, of course. Because you're doing it at a bigger gauge. But yeah, uh, I'd say we have like fingering, worsted, DK, but it'll all be here because it's our summer yard. Sure. Over here, we have the mohair, which is more of a lace weight, and then yeah. the fingering together. Excellent. So, Perfect. mohairs, we have, for example, Isayer, we have uh, Biche Bouche, uh, we have Rowan, uh, so, you know, that's, that's great. And then also, of course, knitting for Olive. Um, and then sock yarns, mostly for the fingering in this section. Uh, but we also have the simple, simple kind, so no, no applying. Yeah. Um, and then sock yarns where you can get them to match yes. because you have that yellow yep. yarn. Uh, so How long yeah. have you been carrying Biche Bish? Oh, quite some time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the store has, is almost 11 years old mm -hmm. and I think we've had it for, for quite some time. Oh. I'm relatively new here, yep. but uh, I know that that's a, quite, a lot of people like Biche Bish, right? It's yeah. a pretty... Yeah. Oh. And we met met Bish and Bish where? Oh. In, 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 um, we, we were at a festival in Denmark. Well, it, it was in Fano. Fano. Yeah, oh. and yeah, super nice people. Oh, I don't doubt it. Yeah, yeah. and their and, customer service is excellent. So oh, heard. good. Yeah. And good. he didn't understand. He's like, bish and bish. What does that mean? <laughs> and he thought in it was English. He thought it was bish. Oh. I was like, no, it's bish. It's bish. It's not. And he's like, what? <laughs> so that's why I always remembered. I could picture them in the booth. Yeah. And nice. We're in, yes. Oh my gosh. And they had a gorgeous booth too. It was the oh colors. The way it was just gorgeous. Oh, they were nice people. I remember. Yeah. Her. She was wonderful. Oh, yeah. Bish. Bish and bish. I won't say the other word. No. <laughs> I don't know if they'd appreciate that. No, no, no. <laughs> so over here, we have actually the only acrylic blend in the entire store. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a more of a budget yarn, which is great yep. for people looking for something simple. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, acrylic uh, and wool blend. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a bit of nylon just for elasticity. Perfect. Yep. Uh, so that's lovely. Um, yeah, and I mean, people also like to make even like baby blankets with this too. Because because oh, sure. it's, it's still it's still great quality exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you think the newest in store? Uh, well, some of the newer yarns are these two, yes. and the answer is always uh, column serum. Really that's our Le Bien Aimé. Oh yeah. Uh, right right now, another French yarn. Like, yes. Uh, quite popular for, too. Like, and this is our merino, yeah. so we have the DK yeah, so and the singles. So yeah. Uh, and yeah, the colors are wonderful. And actually, down here is our color partnership with them. Oh, nice. So we got them to make a color yeah. for our star. Uh, so we we do love pink here. Our logo is pink. So we tend to include that in our house yarns. Uh, so, oh, is this another weight uh, triage yarn sort of thing? So on this side we have the worsted. Um, so we have classics like Cascade and Rowan. Yeah. But then we also have Jean Mou, which makes some great sweaters. And then we've got some more Julie Asselin, which we had on the other side. And Julie Asselin is a close friend, but also a great local producer. Yeah, she's so fantastic. We love her. Uh, super sweet. Emails and everything. She, she's just so nice. Yeah. Uh, Full of energy. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, otherwise, uh, yeah, these are some great choices for sweaters, for mittens, for hats. You know. Yep, terrific. The typical. 
got some more knitting for Olive here. A lot of people do love this yarn. I personally love it too. It's very soft, very easy to knit with. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, Simply Merino. Yeah. Um, and it's it's more of a fingering weight, but we put it here because it's more of a wool type of yarn sure. instead of putting it on the other yep. side. Like here that. is our DK yarn. So, um, and it's a lot of Merino actually here. Um, so Merino silk, so it was really last night. Uh, then we have the Americana DK, which is a super wash merino, mm -hmm. which is really lovely to work with for children. Actually, most of the section would work great for, for baby blankets, sweaters, hats, yep. mittens, whatever. They, it's very soft yarn. Lamana Como is another one of my favorites, personally. It's the softest thing. It knits up super well. Uh, merino 120, I'm actually knitting a baby sweater with right now. Oh, so, nice. I, I do love DK weight yarn. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> But these are really lovely colors, and a lot of people are attracted to this section of the store, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, here is uh, some heel and toe sock oh, yarn. Oh, great. And it's uh, Scrumptious Pro, which is actually dyed by a woman who works in our store. Oh, fantastic. So super local, like yeah, uber super, super, local. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, and it's perfect. Yeah, nice. I've actually bought some of this, one, of this colorway right here. Mm -hmm. I quite love it, and um, I think, yeah, I knitted some uh, black socks with like the heels and toes. Oh, and nice. Toes, so it's really pop, pop the color up. Uh, and then, of course, here we have some more bags. A lot of yeah. people buy these bags just as a purse instead of like a project bag, which is wonderful. We yeah. want people to have those other For sure. options, of course. We don't yeah. want to limit only to knitting right? yeah. or crocheting. Here's some more scrumptious pearl. I'd say this is an entire sock, well, an entire pair of socks that you can uh, that knit so cool. with it. Yeah. And it's, it's self striping, so yeah. it'll give you this result right here. Fantastic. So, yeah, a lot of people love it too. Uh, and I, I got some of the leftovers of someone who knit some socks. So I'm really excited to try it out. <laughs> yeah. And we actually have also a colorway for our store. Oh. Uh, I don't think, I think we sold out potentially. Yeah, but it's, it had a similar colorway to, to this, yep. I'd say. Because once again, colors of the store, we yep. have to, Makes sense. to bring that out. We have uh, our uh, sample section as mm -hmm. well over here. So uh, we can show people things that we've knit. Uh, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, so we can show people the things that we've knit, wow. some of our own patterns. It shows the yarn composition to yeah. what it feels like once it's been knit. Beautiful. And, yeah. Tracy, would you like to say hi? Sure. <laughs> we, saw, we met Tracy outside. Hi, yes. hey, Tracy. I'm doing shipping today, okay. so I'm just shipping all the web orders that we get in on the weekend. You probably awesome. don't get too many orders, eh? We get a lot. A lot of orders, yeah. So it depends on the day for sure, but especially since since COVID, we've had like more web orders than ever. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> and you are as fast as Koso. Yes, you have lots of, you have lots of orders. Exactly. <laughs> and then right next to you, we have some more notions and our crochet hooks and our straight needles. So this spins, so we, we do like to encourage people who want to start crocheting as well. Yep. And actually Celeste, our, our store clerk today, uh, has been crocheting for 10 years. Oh, wow. So super knowledgeable on the topic. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then of course, straight needles and you know, more notions, needle gauges, all that. Uh, this yarn here in the center is more the lace and uh, fingering type. Uh, it's also a lot of local yarns or our own uh, house produced yarns. Yeah. So this one is India Kinamen, yeah. uh, super local as well. In the back here, if we start, it's a more Julie Asme and the Walk collection. So Julie Asme's you know, yarn is a fingering yarn, and then Walk is uh, also fingering, and people have to make socks out of these, of course. Yep. A uh, sock named Walk. Uh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> but yes, they're uh, Germany, so, you know, but we do love to get yarns in from all over the world. Yep. So, yeah. Great. So then, over here, we have more Bishy Bush. We have their Petit Lambs Wool and their uh, Cashmere uh, and Lambs Wool. So that's, you know, like I said, we have a great uh, partnership or, and or, you know, ordering from them scenario situation. Um, then here we have some more Emilia et Filomen. So we have a lot of different types of yarn from them. We yep. have the Leona, which is a mohair. Yes. But then we also have the Clemence, which is uh, an alpaca. So people actually like to blend in this type of alpaca with another wool, and it yeah. almost creates this mohair effect, but not yep. quite. Yep. Uh, and then we get the Josephine and the 
uh, Adeline. Adelina, sorry, which also makes some great sweaters. Yes. And, and shawls, too. People love making shawls. Yeah. Here we have our house dyed yes, mohair. Uh, so one of our one of the favorite colors of the, the parade. Yeah. Parade and, and um Erab or oh, maple. Both gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. People like this type of this sweater with our matching colorway in our yarns. Yeah. In our well wools I should say. Oh, it's it's to die for. Erab. Christopher is maple, so you could see the, yeah, gold, the oh, for golden sure. maple syrup. Yeah, it's beautiful. Exactly. I just want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I completely understand that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, who's doing the dyeing for the, is it? This is uh, Naomi. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Naomi, thought. who was in uh, yesterday. Yeah. So, she's at the park today. We yes. missed her. She's at the <laughs> farm. <laughs> she's at the farm park. Well, the amazing of, yeah. Yes. Something to do with the farm there, is Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. And then the magpie fibers as well are some more mohair. So this is more yep. like our mohair section in terms of skeins, because you know, yeah. not every gorgeous. But yeah, no, Naomi is uh, our week manager along with Mona. Yeah. Um, but I am in today, so yep. <laughs> you get to have me today. Awesome. <laughs> uh, in here, uh, we have some more of our house yarns. So we have the Lux here, which is a uh, merino cashmere nylon blend it's very soft if you want to feel it and like i said we have our matching colorways so we have irab right here nice. so that mohair on top really really pops it looks wonderful and then of course the parade which is the green that you mentioned earlier uh, here we have the luna uh, the luna is very similar to the luxe except it has silk instead of nylon mm -hmm. and uh, people make shawls with it uh, oh, yeah. it's very very soft as well it's a lace weight along with our stella here which is also so a lace weight um, and the shawls that come out of this I mean this is Stella right here so this this uh, sample nice uh, and then finally we have our grace which is a singles uh, blue, is it oh no it's merino sorry it's merino cashmere and uh, nylon uh, and once again the the um, shawls that come out of it are really great this is a uh, yeah. Grace, right here. Uh, and you yeah, it's very, really nice. Very yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, the uh, Stella and Luna are both okay, more of the blue faced Leicester yes. uh, yep. sheep. Yeah, type? yeah. yeah it's, it dyes beautifully. Yes, exactly. Here's our newest yarn that we got into the store. Sorry. And it's actually almost sold out already. <laughs> oh, wow. People love this yarn, it's really great. Uh, it's from uh, Ontario, yes. and so what's great about this one is they come in two mini skeins, so your socks can match perfectly. Yep. And I love that about it. I think it's really genius, which is something you don't see very often yep. because it's more of a you know, packaging yeah. story. It's fantastic. Yeah, and the color names too. There's one actually uh, colorway that I really love. It's uh, well, well, well. The consequences of your if it isn't the consequences of your actions. That's the whole colorway <laughs> name. I thought that was really clever. Yep. Um, it's sold out already, to give you an idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. So, so here we have a few more cotton uh, yarns. We put them here instead of over there because they're skeins and they're relatively new as well in store. The, these colors anyways. We used to only have more of the neutral or yep. natural colors and now we have some really, really bold colors. Uh, and then our lace here, which people love for shawls as well. This like greenish teal right here is one of my favorite colors it's absolutely gorgeous yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> and then right below we have life in the long grass um and these are single merinos as well and uh shawls you know whichever these are are really great yarns and sell sell really quickly too yeah, usually nice. all right um so if we just go right over so here we have our linen house uh, house yarn so we have our sport weight and our lace weight uh, and all these colors all these a lot of them are named after streets or buildings in montreal oh great or like markets yeah that's a great naming convention yeah so it's, it's hard for us because like what are, what is the color for Maisonneuve for example like how would you know but then we we learn them pretty quickly yeah is this flax or what is this what is this oh, oh it's, it's linen it's linen yeah 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 yeah. But, yeah 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 and then like this for example was made from this which is a sport weight 
Oh, so great, great. little grocery bag. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then this too. And this too is from the Petit Line. Oh, nice. Yeah. You want to get installed at the table? All right. And then if we just wrap around here, there's the final part of, okay. the, of the store. Bonjour. <laughs> Je fais un sourire avec les yeux. <laughs> Um, here we have our, well more house yarn, but on this side first, is 100% wool rustic yarn. Uh, a lot of nice stars are made out of these. Uh, and then if you just go to the bottom here, we actually have some kits for shawls and sweaters. And I'll show you another section where we have some more. Uh, and so yeah, and then right next to it we have some alpaca. So these yarns are, like, yeah, like I said, more rustic. The people who like a, a you know, a bit more of a, a yarn that holds itself will yeah. come to this section. Uh, here's our newest house yarn, which is called Sunday Morning. Um, and it sold very quickly too. This is all we have left, basically. Uh, Colors are great. I, I think so too. Um, so we have a fingering four ply, and mm -hmm. then we have a DK. Yep. And yeah. I and mean, so the yarn base for this is what is this? It's uh, oh man, that's a great question. Uh, blue, yes, yeah, blue face, yeah, and then that's masham. That's cool. the masham I can oh, remember. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, the colors I'm working with right now. I have a sweater in blue face luster and mass and Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I love it. Yeah, good. I recognize it right away. I, thought, I know. Well, it's it will look familiar. Yeah. Yeah. But look at the sheen that it picks up too. Yes, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. The BFL. See the um, the colors I'm working with right now for a sweater are these three. Oh, that's nice. So like a fall yep. type of yep. of colorway. Yeah, I'm really excited to Very finish nice. it up. All right. As you can see, I've got multiple projects going on. I think it's pretty, <laughs> <Yes>. pretty common. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. And then if we keep going here, we have some more Julie Asselin, which is like this type of concept is really fun. Uh, she sold this yarn in a cone mm -hmm. because this is your sweater base. And then if you want to make sort of a, a colorway pattern with it, you can just buy a small skein oh, to that's complete good idea. the sweater. Yeah. So yeah. she had a bunch of colors, like light grays. We have a cream in case you just want to buy more and just make a like plain white or cream yep. sweater and some darker grays too. Very so good. Oops, that's the concept I quite liked myself. That's terrific. And then if we keep perusing, uh, we have some more of our rustic yarns. Uh, we have some loft, which is all made by... Um, Oh, where are they located? They're in England. Are they? Uh, no, uh, or, or New Hampshire? New Haven. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the... Yeah. Harrisville. <laughs> yeah, Harrisville is... Yeah, US. There we go. So, this loft is made by the same people who make uh, Shelter yeah. and Query. And it's a very rustic yarn yes. that really holds itself. People knit sweaters with this when they want it to have a um, really structured feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Targi. Like that's the base. Yeah. The American Targi and Colombia. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Don't get me started on the history of Targi. I know. Oh, I'd love to hear the history of Targi. <laughs> I don't know about the history of Targi. You need to watch our videos because we do a lot of history and I'm always the one doing the, the sheep and then I'll, I'll research the sheep oh. and the history. Could go, it could be going back to the 1500s, 1600s, okay. how it came from Europe or where it originated. And the Targi we did we recently, Targi was one of the last ones we did in yeah. Colombia and how in, in the United States and the Rambouillet. And, oh, yeah, yeah. So when you mentioned history and that's where I come in. Beautiful. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to go check that out then. Absolutely. Um, we have some more yarns from France. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the Ulysse, the Gilliatt and the Cyrano. And they're all uh, a merino that's been uh, like what they call cardé. So like a carded like, like yeah. it's, it's been like roughly brushed through and then it's so it's got a bit of a rougher feel for a merino. But once again, really structured feel, and people actually make yeah, things. Nice. It's very nice. Yeah, exactly. They make yeah. they make sweaters for children, even with this yarn, even though it has a bit of a more structured feel. But yeah. it's a great yarn. People love this yarn. So yeah, in this section, it's more of our bulkier yarns. Yeah. Um, so anything from, I'd say worsted to like a super bulky is where you'll find. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Uh, of course we have uh, cascade yarns as well behind this lovely little ladder. Uh, so 
you know, we want to really cater to all types of knitters, all knitters from different backgrounds. We don't want to limit it to these really high-end yarns sure. that cost you know, a lot for yeah. some people. Of course, if someone comes in with a project, if it's your first project and you're not sure how it's going to go, spending 10 versus $40 on a, on a skein of yarn, two very yeah, different scenari absolutely. scenarios, right? Yeah. I, I wasn't spending $40 per skein when I was starting my knitting, you know? <laughs> um, and then this is our last little bit. This is alpaca uh, mixes or even like these really fluffy yarns nice. which are super yeah. soft and make really great squishy sweaters so yeah that's that's pretty much all of our yarn that is fantastic what a yeah. great great tour <laughs> oh, I'm glad. very <laughs> thorough <laughs> and she's the one who's not the you know, a plus she's only been here a short time <laughs> yeah. yeah this is my i'm finishing she's up a little bit knowledgeable but she seems <laughs> to know everything <laughs> <laughs> it's my third month here actually that what? i'm just concluding yeah <laughs> Well, I'm no. a quick learner then. Jeez, yeah. I've been knitting for six years, so yeah. I, I think like that really helps me out for, sure. for what I'm making yeah. and what I'm knitting with. Uh, so that's great. Just glad. thank you so much for, for the tour. It's terrific. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Is there anything else, any questions you might have or I just um I guess just in short I'll ask everybody just in terms of clients, whether you do you have a typical client or what do the clients look oh. like? Oh. Um we have yes, we have actually quite a few we have quite a uh, a, a an interesting variety of clients. Yeah. So we'll have the clients that come in for knitting help. So they typically already have their project, have their yarn, and they're at a stage in their pattern where they don't know where to go. Uh, or they were looking for confirmation as to, am I doing this right? Yeah. Then we have the new knitters. So those that um, they might just want to start a, even a, just a new crochet project, a new knitting project, and they're always asking us, what should I start with? So us, we recommend either, you know, either start simple or start with something shorter. Sure. Because you don't want to be knitting something and then get discouraged because it's your first project. Yeah. So we often recommend scarves or even dishcloths, especially for crocheting. Dishcloths are a really excellent way of starting. Yes. Yeah. Um, then we have our, our regulars. So these are people that we've had for years now at the store. And they know exactly what they're looking for, typically, unless they're looking for advice on colors. Yep. Then we get to have a really interesting color discussion. Uh, and then finally, we have people like you guys. So people who come traveling and who are looking for different knitting stores yep. and um, are trying to see, you know, like the little attractions in Montreal and they like sure. to come to our store. So those are our variety. Yeah. Fantastic. That's great. <laughs> This has been so informative and it's such a fantastic uh, yarn store. The lighting in here is great and the displays are fantastic. They're oh. really, really nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I get present. You know, when you think about you know, how much effort uh, Indie Dyer's put into their dyeing, oh, it's just so so beautifully displayed. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll be sure to, to relay that to Lisa and Melissa. Oh, good. Good. Excellent. <laughs> I'm sure. of our yarn hop and we're at Le Trigue Tues de Cartier and it is a fantastic store and I can't wait to get in so come on along. Christopher, and this is Jamie. Christopher, Jamie, Madeleine, and Gabrielle, and, Gabriel. and uh, my staff. Awesome. Hello, hello. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What a great welcome. It's fantastic. Yes. So I was wondering if you'd be able to show us around your shop. Yes, of course. Awesome. Okay. That's so great. Uh, <laughs> you want to have a uh, stool? A stool. Okay. okay. Alors, uh, Okay, so here is uh, our world of accessories. So we do have a lot of shiogu needles. We do have the kits. Yeah. Uh, plenty of accessories here. 
So Shagu, Litter Spray, all the accessories that uh, litters need. And how did you decide on the needles? Which needles? There's so many different types of yes. needles. How did you decide on, on Shagu? Yes, we, uh, we tried a lot. We tried a lot. We do have the uh, Adzi Clip too before. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have Aya, Aya, Aya. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. So we do have, we do uh, try uh, a lot of needles. So. Uh, the people passage. prefer, the people prefer the Shiagu. Yes. Yes. Because the cable is very, yeah. very smooth. And yes. Smooth and simple. So it's it is. Very, very le yeah. fun. Alors, uh, I use those. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the and it's very sharp too, so people love it for doing lace or yeah. things like that. And the best are zinc. Zinc too is very good. Zinc it's more very okay. good. E2. Yeah. E2. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's more affordable and it's it's pretty uh, very good too. So mm -hmm. it's uh, a little bit less the cable, sharp. It's Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good. Yes. Okay. Big question. So, which needles do you use when you? And shag. Shag. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we have here? Okay. So we do have a lot of hand dyed yarn of the artisan. So, of how do we say artisan? Artisan. 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 Yeah. Artisan. So we do have Julie Aslan, Coco yarn. Pêche mignon. Pêche mignon, yes, and our yarn too. Yeah. So this is la laine du quartier, so it's our own, uh, own yarn. And who does it, what does it, what do you mean by our own? And it's because it's me that uh, you? I do, oh, yeah, I do excellent. have the Fantastic. yarn. So that's a brand new one, it's the mohair. So uh, I do have a, a couple of colors here. Mm -hmm. and, and then before we move on, so where are these indie dyers from? Okay. Um, Julie Asselin is from Coatico, from Quebec. Yep. Uh, I am from Quebec yes. too. <laughs> uh, Pêche Mignon is from Quebec too. Yes. And Coco is from um, Saguenay. Saguenay, Saguenay Lac Saint Jean. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So it's all Fantastic. from. Uh, That's really great. That's yeah. perfect. Uh, and Leiden and uh, yes. Nouvelle Écosse. Mm -hmm. Nova Scotia. Yep. Yeah. It's nice. It's very soft and uh, such a beautiful yarn. And we do have our main uh, main base, so the gaba. It's for uh, to do to knit socks. So it's uh, our yarn too. So it's me that I dyed uh, our yarn. The colors are great. Thank They're you really very nice. much. And so is that uh, merino and and nylon. Yeah. And nylon. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So it's. Uh, is it 75, 80, 80, 80, 20? 80 percent, Yeah, 80, 20. So it's 100 grams and uh, 350 meters. It's very soft, it's a very nice and round merino. It's yeah, a eight ply, nice. so it's very uh, fluffy and soft. So we do have a couple of uh, hand dyed yarn too here. Fibrilia. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a man that dyes uh, the yarn from Sherbrooke. And okay. his wife have um, a store too. So the name of the store is Tricoté Serré. So it's a little uh, cute name, I think. Yeah. Uh, the Soxier, it's very nice too. It's Canadian from Kutnitz. I think it's Canadian mm -hmm. from Kutnitz, yeah. yeah. Very nice. And so, let's just go back to you for a second mm -hmm. and, and your dyeing. So, how did you learn how to dye or what made you, what motivated you to dye? Okay. Uh, when the, clo the store closed uh, for the pandemic, I had uh, much time at home and I already took uh, a class to, to dye yarn, yeah. so I decide to try it more at home. So I buy some uh, some chaudron, some uh, some pot, and start uh, dyeing it. And a couple of months after, uh, we um, we made me a little atelier, a little place yes. to, to dye. So it's the, it's a shed. It's uh, just a shed that we all uh, renovated to to make a, an atelier. Yeah, it's my father that uh, that. Oh, yes, fantastic! It's, so it's very nice. So it's at home. It's yeah. in the, the, the backyard. So yep. I can uh, I can dine that uh, whenever I want, uh, late night or early in the morning. I'm more uh, late night than uh, early in the morning, <laughs> but yeah, it's very nice. So and and so, where do your inspirations come for your colors? It depends on uh, how I feel. I like just I, oh yes. I don't uh, I don't I just put music in my uh, in my place and I start uh, dyeing it. So yeah. some days it's very bright colors, very punchy ones. 
another days it's very gray and a little pale, things like that. So it depends on the it's not the base of fix. Yeah. My mother wants me to, to uh, redo my colors again. Yeah. But I'm a little bit <laughs> more... <I'm> boss. Uh, <laughs> she's my mother and my boss, so yeah. <laughs> so I prefer to do how I feel the, the, the color and uh, to make always different colors, but yeah. I will make uh, a base that's going to be always uh, the same colors, but a little bit of unique colors. Sure. So, yeah. Les, les clients ont aussi de faire des couleurs à eux. Yeah. So I make uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of uh, special orders, so if, if uh, people want to have special colors and things like that, I do, uh, I do that uh, also. And, and how do you name, do you name your colors or? No, it's no? unique, it's by numbers. So it's, oh, by numbers. Yeah, okay. by numbers. Good. So I can't, I can't do it again if uh, somebody wants like, I want a six, seven skin of that color, I can do it again. Yeah. But uh, it's not, uh, it's yeah. not the purpose. Yeah. So we've got, so all the way from this wall, all the way over to here, yeah. it's Quebec. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Quebec. Canada. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and uh, now we have the new Eco. Yes, uh, that's a that's a brand new yarn. It's Eco Rest. Eco Rest. They're oh. from Quebec, and it's very rustic yarn. Rustic. Yep. Natural, uh, rustic. natural and dyed. So, yeah. Oh, very nice. May, uh, it's very. It's more crunchy, it's more uh, yeah. rustic wool, but it's very. We nice. we try to encourage the most possible the artisans, like the pompons and the Yes, we try to help. Uh, and to, to, to make a place for the artisans here. So yes. Yeah, Comme that's les pompons, it. artisans. Mm -hmm. uh, made from uh, recycled. Saguenay. Yeah, it's from Saguenay and it's made from recycled fruit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's great. Oh, I didn't see those when we were no. here earlier. Oh, that's cool. They're very nice. <laughs> I have to and check those out. <laughs> <laughs> I love They're those. They're great. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yes, they're pretty. It's very uh, mm -hmm. unique, so yeah. that's nice. Okay. Uh, presenté, uh, yes. Okay. Bon. And we do have a lot of commercial wool too. Mm -hmm. So Same that's uh, Elsabeth Laval, the silky wool. It's a blend of uh, wool and silk, so it's very nice. And it's not. Uh, it's more like a rough it's silk. Very, it's very. Uh, oh my gosh! Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. It's really yeah. nice. That's gorgeous. Yes, it's very pretty. Yes, uh, it's no expensive. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do have a couple of art fill yarn. Yes. We're waiting for uh, an order to come because we're uh, just before the Summer. the autumn. So. And art fill, they're yeah. also from Quebec, aren't they? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's great. She's. Uh, uh, Originary from uh, Bulgari. Bulgari. Oh, okay. Bulgari. She's a Bulgar, but she she's from Quebec and she does uh, an amazing work too. Well, one thing I just wanted to point out with yes. Artfelt, they also um, use a lot of sustainability practices in their dyeing. Yeah. And I think they say that on their on their label yes, as well, which is good. Yes, very co-friendly. So she tries to to uh, use the less water possible yeah. and use different techniques to uh, just yeah. not uh, pour their pot of water and then throw it out. So yes, that's nice. Yeah. Yep. We do have Beroko yarn, so for the the mid the, the mid quality yarn, it's perfect. So we do mm -hmm. have the vintage DK and the vintage. So for sweater, uh, children, kids, babies, it's very uh, awesome yarn. Yes, that's really nice too. Yeah, so we do have uh, a couple of yarns, Ecoem from Cascade, Chambre and, and uh, Hemp, Hemp and, and uh, Wool. Nice. wool. Uh, yeah. So that, that feels nice as well. Right. Yeah, so, so if you've knit this up? Yeah. Oh, wow. With the equipment, oh, so nice. the texture is very nice. Yeah. Mm. And I love the ribbed, the, the ribbed the manche. Yes, <laughs> yeah, this is very nice. Yeah. Yeah, the blue is beautiful up there. Yeah. The green and brown, they're all nice. Mm -hmm. That's great. And because we're a school too, we do have a little bit more of cheaper yarn to make uh, beautiful, nice uh, blankets and uh, more affordable um, knitwear. So, so what do you mean your school? What does that yes. mean? The so we do have uh, almost uh, seven, six or seven, six, seven, uh, 
Enseignant. Ah, euh, six. We do have six, six teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, avant, je n'avais onze. Avant la pandémie, yeah. je n'avais onze. Yes, before the pandemic, we do have uh, 11 teachers that... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that uh, offer... Yes. Uh, After six. Yeah, so now it's, uh, it's six teachers, so we do have class every, uh, every day. So Monday to Sunday, we do have uh, That's great. classes. That's great. Yeah, it's Fantastic. very nice. Yeah. It's very uh, individual uh, private school. Yes, it's a private class, so it's very uh, individual and it's very uh, focused on what, what are you doing. So it's mm -hmm. more uh, to accom accompany. How yes. do you say accompany? Accompany. Accompany. Uh, yeah. yeah. To help, to help yes. people yeah. in their, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. what they're okay. doing. Yeah. And so what's above your head? Uh, that's uh, Monsieur Pagny, uh, they'll basket so it's uh, made in Madagascar mm -hmm. so it's him and his family that uh, do it all by uh, their hand with their hand in Madagascar and then he imports it here so it's very nice it's like big basket that you can put all your wool yeah, mm -hmm. just uh, just in the just beside you on the on the sofa things like that is very very nice and they make it uh, in the front, they are round. Right? Oh, nice. So it's more like a bag, but it's very yep. nice too. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And we do have a lot of cotton too, because it, it was summer, so we do have a lot of cotton. They're Topima flax, uh, color braid to make uh, nice bags, things like that. Oh, the bags are beautiful. Yes, the bags are nice too. And are, they, are those the kits for the bags? Yep. Yeah. Oh, really nice. So it comes with the yarn and the pattern. So. Yep. And we do have uh, the soap. So that's the the Favar uh, Favar Montreal soap. So it's made uh, it's made here. It's a uh, biological biological yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, oil from Saint Jean Richelieu. So that's very nice. They're so nice people, and they uh, they use uh, reusable the uh, reusable bottle. Yeah. So it's they're very eco friendly and. Uh, that's yes, great. That's very nice. And we do have the Ucala. Yes. Yes. Yep. That's a classic. That's yes. La pomade qui est parfaite aussi. Ah yes, that's a hand pomade. Hand mm, pomade. Yes. So for when you have dry, uh, yeah. dry hands. Nice. Et quand euh, ici le sponge des ongles, ben ça fait partir les yeah. petits. Uh, yeah. Ça glisse. And when the wool is rustic, sometimes you have oh, uh, yes. dry hands and so you want to. Yeah. <laughs> C'est fait de quoi ça? As it fair, it, it's made with um, tournesol, sunflower, sunflower mm. oil. So it's with uh, sunflower, sunflower oil. <laughs> and, and, no, it's not lavender. And is that scented or is it? Un and that's unscented. That's uh, lavender. Lavender, nice. Yes, and we do have uh, eucalyptus. Just a little bit. Yeah. A little oh, bit. Oh, these Little bit. It's very, it's very nice because it's, it's not uh, greasy at all at the end. It's a little bit like uh, a weird yeah. texture, I think. Yeah. But it's, but it's not oily at all no. after, so that's nice. Oh, it's not nice. Yeah. For you. Oh. oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it's very nice. It's a... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. That's beautiful. Yeah. So maybe we can... Uh, Go okay. In the front Do, or is there a story with these at all? Yes. Or? Yes. It's just a, it's just made in projects that we that we made. So there's a lot of uh, hats and uh, mittens, things like that. Yes, that's so pretty. So that's really nice. Yeah. I, oh. Wow. Yeah, so you can that's the hat. really nice. And you do have the mittens that comes with it. So. I love the detail. Oh my gosh. Yes, they're more like a classy side and a funky one. So yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Whose pattern is that? The pattern is the loof. L-U-F-F. Loof mittens. Oh, I love those. They're very pretty. That's safe. She's got big hands. She's got big hands. Beautiful. Yeah, they're really nice. And so your classes, where do you have your classes? Just here. So we do have three tables. Right over, fantastic. Yes. Yeah. This so has a very, start. very welcoming, homey feel yes, to it. Yes, we feels try like, to. Feels like home. Feels like I'm in your house. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, you get. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. 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 Ye
pandemic. And we do have a lot of a lot of books. Oh yes, is this the library? I like a book. Yes, so do I. Almost every week, almost every week, Madeleine's bought some new books. Books. So yeah. That's very nice. We are like a lab library, so people can borrow it and for one, two, three weeks, yeah. Ça, c'est une très bonne idée. C'est le nouveau book, le nouveau pompon. Oh, yes. Le nouveau lamp. Oh. And uh, moon and turtle, it's very beautiful. Uh, making story. Yes. And slow and the coupenets oh that's great yes wow you've got everything here you've got it yes we uh, we make our best on fait le service no on fait le service de bibliothèque on peut prêter nos livres ok juste à l'arrêter ton téléphone c'est ça alors the people the people can borrow books yeah that's nice like a library yeah, because some of these are expensive. Like some of these magazines are expensive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. May, uh, Ravelry. Ravelry. Yes. E, okay. You can, you can. You want this? Ravelry. Okay. It's okay. on okay. Ravelry. Yeah. 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 Just one book uh, for my bibliothèque. You, oh, yes. On l'achète. Uh, we, we can buy it on Ravelry. Yes. On yes. l'achète sur Ravelry. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think I would, if I were in this area, living in this area, I'd be here all the time. I would be reading all of you. I, I love, I love these books. It's fantastic. Yes, it's, it's great. It's terrific in New York. So what you're saying through Ravelry, they, they could just, instead of buying the book, because like yeah. you said, they're so expensive, they could just take the pattern yes. and then buy it on yeah. here, buy it right here yeah. uh, through yeah, Ravelry. So fantastic. because of the publishing right, and then they'll print it up right yeah. here after they buy it, they print it up. Yeah. And you've got your tables here, you've got your yarn, you've got your books. <laughs> if you had a bed, I could just move in. Because it's not. It's not a bed. It's not a bed. It's Before, we did, we, we did already have oh, a big, did. a huge <laughs> sofa. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big sofa. Caroline also has made the sculpture on pierre. Maybe we can go in the front so sure. we can show, uh, show Donc, you. Donc, euh, a fait les, euh, les, trico les tricopines. Oh. Oh. Et so it's a sculpture and she knits the hats and the oh shawls and she put like a product that make the, the, the stuff make very yes. durci. Dur, dur, it uh, it, it uh, imprint, it makes an imprint. Yeah. 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 Or mold, mix uh, and mold. Les pompons, yeah. uh, c'est yes. exclusif wow. à la boutique. Uh, so you cannot find these uh, anywhere else than here. That is so, so that's cool. That's very nice. And she put the brown spotter too to make a little goldish uh, look. So that's very nice. That is very cool. Yeah. And is she, she's from, is she Montreal? Or yes. yes. She Oh my god. Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> She's Caroline. Those are beautiful. Actually, it's my passion. I'm, I'm sculpting still uh, 23 years old. And uh, I'm uh, the vice president of the Stone Sculptor of Quebec. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's my passion. That's yeah, beautiful. That's my second passion. <laughs> <laughs> so I mix it up. Yeah, oh, that's that. I love yeah, it. And that's I really made nice. only this kind of style for the shop here. So mm -hmm. some people call sometimes from, oh, I want, I want one. You can find only yep. on that shop. Wow, yeah. it's absolutely so beautiful. I mixed uh, two different textures and I'm sculpting different stone, alabaster, soapstone, granite, calcare, any, any kind of stone. Beautiful. Is this soapstone, this one? No, this is a pyrophilite from Africa. Okay. It's a kind of, of a black alabaster. Oh, yes. This one too. And this one is a steatite from Brazil. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, and I never repeat. Always different yep. style. So oh, very welcome. nice. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, here's oh, a nice Danny. Hi. Oh, oh hi. How are you? The second owner. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. C'est lui qui s'occupe euh, de toute la Facebook. Oh, you? Euh, Dylan, il s'occupe de hey. toute la Facebook. Euh, 
all the, the, the social media is uh, Danny that's, that's uh, what we, you're the social media king together. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say how did you know he was Jamie <laughs> I don't know I'm the <laughs> other guy so, so, you, so you're the boss of her and then he's the boss of no no no, no. no. he's not the boss of She's the boss. She's the boss. Okay. And well, uh, yeah, uh, she's, she's the boss. She's my mother, my uh, my boss. Uh -huh. so, uh, boss be first, calm. mother second. And we, yeah. we, we live together. Too. We live together too. So <laughs> we're busy. <laughs> Well, you've done a beautiful job here. This is a beautiful store. I love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very so much. You. Yeah. So yes. the the first Sunday of the month, we invite our clients and we uh, we offer pi pizza, the cold pizza, uh, the the little lunch. cake, coffee, coffee, things like that, and then uh, people can come, uh, knit together, and we invite uh, we invite people, hand dyers or. Uh, spinners or things like that to to come and to show 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 the people their products so it's very nice we were like 80 80 people in, oh the, in the boutique so people. it was, wow. very like it was very like a party it was very very nice 75 yes 75 80 70. yeah. that's fantastic that's what and every day people can come and knit uh, in the boutique so it's very uh, it's very uh, it's the social knitting and the community, so it's very important, oh, very nice. important to have that part of the. Yes. It's sad because because of the the pandemic, it's a little bit more hard to. Yeah. Yes, to to do that uh, that side of what uh, what we love to, but. So how long have you had the store? It's been ten years that the uh, boutique is. Uh, Cutters yeah. existing, but it's been five years that it's Madeleine and Danny. Five years in, the, in January. January, yeah. My friend, my girlfriend. Yes, her best friend was uh, was the owner of the store. Yes. Madeleine was the manager, but uh, unfortunately, Louise gets sick and she, yeah. she she got cancer and she she passed away, and then uh, her husband just had the boutique for a year or two. And then he offers to Madeleine to, to buy the boutique. So. Mm -hmm. and, Marianne. And Marianne, it's the little. Hi. Hello. I'm the granddaughter of the first. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 So so I was like very little when I first came here. Oh, I was yes. like we, we know old. Marianne. Yeah. Marianne, since she had about yeah. six years old. Yeah, she yeah. used to, so old, to, to come yeah. to bring some uh, color to it. Yeah, I was doing drawings. Drawings to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things like that, and now she she works with us, so yeah, she's it's part a big of the family team. here. Oh, really. that's nice. Yeah, yeah. that's terrific. Yeah, it's really that's important. important. <laughs> <laughs> when you see picture with the wonderful uh, model, it's a yes, it's my hand. She's it's our own 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 model. Model. model on Facebook. Oh, excellent. You look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys. I get very emotional. Us. That's his story. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like, man, is so special. It's yeah, like, that is so special. Yeah, yeah. From, oh, Jamie, you know, you're amazing. Louise, my friend, she uh, promised. Mm. Yeah, she made a, a, a promise. She, 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 she made a promise. Yeah. Yeah. She made a promise uh, to, to Louise to keep the same. The same. The same. Energy, the same, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yes, and to, to be sure that Marianne's gonna yes. stay to with take us. Take care of me. Take care of Marianne, yeah. I don't know if she, if she loves to work here, but. Uh, I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> How could you not, my gosh? Yes. Surrounded in yarn. Yeah, yes. it's a wonderful shop. Yeah, and I'm sure when you're here, it makes you feel special because you probably you could feel your friend who passed. Yeah. by being here. Yeah. I'm sure you feel her being here when you're little and you're still here. That's very special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love that. But uh, we, we love to, uh, to see people here and the, we, we, we just expect to, to have uh, uh, excellent uh, customer service. That's we, yeah. we, yes. we work for that and I think yes, uh, the people love it. it's very important for us to, to, offer, to, to offer to our yeah. clients. Yes, we want people that come here to be uh, well welcome and to be happy and to feel good. Like we, we want the store to be like a home and to be like a nice place that yeah. we can uh, yes. 
That's great. And she said it was the first rule. Yes, it was a fir- it's the first rule. So my yeah. when she said it's the first, first rule, rule. Yes. It's the first. <laughs> yep. So and, she, and she's boss. Don't you worry. <laughs> that's rule. That's rule one. Yeah. That's rule two. No. Yes, the first one is she's the boss. The second one is nice service. <laughs> so I have a question. Do you, do you knit your own stuff or do you outsource it? I tried to knit uh, <laughs> in, uh, during the pandemic, but it was more for fun. Sure. I, I like it, but I'm a little, oh, no. I'm a little busy for it. Uh, and yes, it was a, too much. And I, I love to see my, my wife it's and not my, yet. my it daughter. It was a, a little bit uh, horrible. It was, uh, I, uh, I lost a stitch. Come well, help that, me. That's, that's this guy. That's what he does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> I, I, I do it All so, the what drama am I doing? around your knitting. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but it was so funny to see to see them together, just sit next to each other and then to knit. And Danny was like, "No, don't talk to me. I need to be uh, concentrated." <laughs> because we are live every Sunday morning, and we try to. Uh, yes, that's uh, just like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, every Sunday morning on Facebook on our page, where uh, we do a little podcast. So it's uh, me and Madeleine that uh, that present new stuff that talk about. Uh, Madeleine and me. Yes, Madeleine. Okay. I said Madeleine and me. So we present new stuff and we uh, give little tricks to our clients and things like that. So it's yeah. very, uh, it's very That's nice. nice. So it's we try to 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 give a vision about all the the hand dyer in Quebec. Yes. Yeah. We, we, we try to to do what we can uh, about that, and it's a good way to. Uh, to show our product, our yep. thing, and what uh, Gabriel do uh, with the wool. And yeah. So I, uh, I present my new, my new colors and things like that on Sunday morning. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. I just wanted to thank you so much for allowing us to come in and look at your great shop. It is absolutely beautiful. And there's just such a sense of community and family here. It's wonderful. So oh, thank, thank you so you much. Very thank, much. You. thank you. Thank it's you. It's so nice. Much. It was a pleasure we work for about us that. to... Yeah. Thank you guys. And thank you, Jamie, for filming. Yes. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. The other guy. It's the other guy, sorry. <laughs> thank you, the other guy. It's yes, hard thank on the you. end. <laughs> you need a stand. I know, because I want to talk and I can't. Yes, we are talking to anyone. We are home and we're back from our road trip from Montreal. Somebody missed this one. Yeah, and it ain't me. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I did. That's so mean. <laughs> did you hear what he said? That's because I'm the mean dad, because I, I'm the one who has to, you know, set all the rules. But yeah. On est ici, encore une fois, à la maison, et déjà mes amis franco-ontariens et canadiens français, québécois. I miss you already. <laughs> so do I. The people were fantastic. The food was amazing. And, and the wool shop. So we started off with... La Bobineuse de Laine. Yeah, that was a wonderful shop. And Fanny showed us around the shop. And it was great. It had a great vibe to it. It felt... It had a hipster feel to it. And it was, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. I would think that I would go to that shop if I were... If I was knitting a sweater or... Like she had a lot of stuff. She had a lot of great yarns. A lot of great yarns that um, were not super washed either. And she had a great representation from Quebec. Well... I think I would just go to that yarn store for anything. Yarn. Yes. I know why you'd go to that yarn shop. There's two. There's a residual benefit of going to that yarn shop. There is. Because Fanny told us about a donut shop two doors down. Oh, I forgot about the donut shop. <laughs> How could I forget? Because we ate donuts. Yeah. It was a great shop, oh, though. It was, and, and, yeah. Yeah. I almost got started, but this is about the wool shop, oh, sorry, not the yeah. donut place. <laughs> yeah. I was, um, yeah. And I'm talking about the yarn shop. Yes. And... It was, it was, I really enjoyed it, and it had a very unique feel to it. It was yeah. definitely, you could feel Fanny in that store. Like, it was very, very she much. She had mentioned true. how, because there was quite the history with the store, and uh, um, how, how it, it survived and kept alive, moved just, you know, a short distance location-wise. Yeah. But she had said that when she took over the shop, I mean, it had been a shop for many, many years, like yes. 30 years or something. Yeah. Um, correct me, but I know, I'm just going by memory. But it was, she said it was to the rafters with wool. It was just like wool, wool, wool everywhere. So now it's very, I mean, she's got everything organized, beautiful lighting. You could visually, you could find anything and everything you need. Um, she had beautiful big windows and bright. Yes. It was very, 
airy and colorful and macrame hanging here there and everywhere because yep. she's big on the macrame as it's very popular as well and, and yeah, it's made in ontario lovely. the macrame was made in ontario how do you know that the macrame string is that what you call it string well i don't know rope i'm not into macrame <laughs> <laughs> i'm barely into knitting <laughs> and so the second stop was yes. at espastrico espastrico yes and who do we talk to there miriam Miriam Boucher Pinard. Yeah, what a great host. Oh my gosh. She was lovely. Yeah, she, fantastic. And she knew her stuff. Did she ever? And she had only been there a short time. And I was, yeah. I was blown away by her knowledge of everything. I mean, there's a lot of, there are a lot of brands, people, description of wools, types of wools, you know, natural dyed, um, all kinds of different dyed, all of the um, accessories. She knew absolutely point to anything she knew at all yeah it was a great shop it had so much it had uh, when i say so much it had so, so many great <laughs> zan loves the camera <laughs> he's distracting me i found he's stressed so the, think... the store had so many great yarns every everywhere you looked like every there were so many great brand names there yeah. fantastic great dyers uh their in-house dyer um Naomi is also fantastic. Yeah, and it's definitely a one. It's like, it's, well, all of the shops are like a one-stop shop, and you're going to find what you need at any one of these shops we're talking about. It's about to go, um, the accessories, I mean, they have everything in there, anything and everything aside, you know, well, I could get into it. There's dozens and dozens of accessories. And when I think about that shop, I think about Bright. Like, the, their store color is pink, and I think... It is? Yeah, Mir Miriam told us that in the store. She told us a gazillion things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The store's pink is, I, I but but I would say but I would think of color. I think of color when I think about that store, and and maybe it's because of the the lighting or the way that the store is structured. But I see color. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You could just see the color everywhere, and you go up and you know it's row after row like this, the way it's set up, and then they have their whole back where she was quite busy at the back where you know the shipping the shipping because they have so many online orders. Yes. It's like, go 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 go. Yeah. And then they had that wonderful space next door that I think that they just opened it recently, but with you know with what's going on in the world, they had to put their ateliers and their classes on hold, but they had this beautiful extra space that they had taken over. Yeah, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I hope that they could still keep it. It was a beautiful bright space. Base. Hope they could keep that, but the shop itself is all intact. Love, and, love, love the shop. And it's just, yeah, it's it's a must stop along with but that would be news. And then we headed north. Did we head north for our next stop? We headed somewhere. It was away far, from. The it was river. a little bit down the road. We followed. Yes, it it was les, les tricoteuses du quartier, and the owner and head honcho boss she, <laughs> yes. she made that perfectly clear in her lovely way boss and then owner and mother yes that's right and wife so madeleine and then gabrielle and danny, danny? yes yep is it denny or denny d-a-n-y danny okay yeah and it was we traveled through some great um neighborhoods when we went up there as well it was yeah. really nice but you open this door and we saw it in, in the episode it just felt like home it felt so it was, comfortable yeah it was wonderful i mean it's spacious well lit and they they have all these different sort of areas where they have their tables and workshops and and they have these display cabinets that just looks like you know your 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 mom's sort of uh what do you call it china cabinets with yes with yarns in it and it, it felt very much like a home like a living room and the sense of community and i know how she mentioned big on community and there were there were people in there they, the door's not even open they were waiting to come in and, and you had the um you know oh gosh the uh, instructor was already sh doing and showing yeah, and yeah. and everybody was busy and it was already a little bit of a hub not so much so with their classes they're going to start again because that's something we all miss everybody misses you know uh that people connection and i know that the emphasis with with madeline and then the granddaughter of the original of one of the original owners, yes is it the granddaughter yes, yes. and um, she is working there and it was so touching and it was real like this real family connection and they make everyone feel even us like family they said we were welcome to come in anytime and even stay over if we'd like to well I even offered to sleep in the store <laughs> I know it was so cozy he wanted to just move because in. the library was there oh yeah they had a 
That's right, which was yes. a very unique thing about their shop, which, you know, books are expensive. And you might want a book, you might just be glancing through and they'll they'll sell the pattern. They, their connection with uh, Ravelry where they could sell the pattern from the book, but they'll print up the pattern right there for you once yep. it's purchased. So you don't have to purchase the book. And you don't have to purchase the book because she said they loan out the books like a library. Yes. Who yeah. does that these days? Yeah, the, the stores were very distinct from one another. They each had their own feel to it. But yeah. there was one thing in common. Which and, ones? Well, there were a couple things in common. But the thing that was most they, obvious they to they me... They had yarn and they were all kinds of things. <laughs> they, they had yarn. Yeah, it was the representation of Quebec in each store. Oh, yes. There was a huge Quebec contingency of, Absolutely. of dyers in, in all of the stores, which was fantastic. It was great to see. That makes it unique in itself. Yeah, Because it if does. you want local and you want, you know... It's, it's, it's if you're traveling, like yeah, because if you travel to Montreal, like it's a very touristy city. Like people, it's a destination city. Now, if you're a des and we met that, remember that lovely couple we met at Espacico, and she's been all over the place, mother and, and daughter. Yes. You know, we had oh a yes. Yes. They were amazing. Well, she knew who you were. She went because I started <laughs> leaning over to the to the daughter, and she went, <laughs> and I was like. I think she's recognizing you. And then, oh my gosh, they were lovely. They were With so my excited. mask on. <laughs> yeah. And they were so And I wasn't wonderful. wearing a plaid shirt. And she knew, I think we were talking about Chicago, and she said, oh, this yarn shop in Chicago. And everywhere she travels, when she travels now, it's a destination to go to a yarn shop, wherever yes, she may travel sure. in the world. So people come to Montreal, I think people want something different, something local. And, and they all, like you said, the Quebec artisans were very well represented. And I, I hope you enjoyed our, our tour of it. We really did. There's one other yarn shop we didn't get to this time, but we've sat down and had an interview with them for yeah, about an hour. This was and two we years did try ago. to hook up. We did yeah. try to we did try to hook up this time around and it's just our schedules didn't it didn't match. And then they were not open the one day, I don't even remember exactly, but it just didn't work out. But because we were gonna do an update. But should we say the name of it? <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> we take crochet and go. Crochet yes. <laughs> and, and they're never done. Yes. Yes. Zoe and Mariev. Yes. And they're uh, wonderful, wonderful owners. They're 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 young and they're full of energy and they love what they do. And I mean, one has an engineering degree. I mean, you know, and they have, no, did they, did they both? Are well, they one any? of them is working on her PhD, I think. PhD in engineering. You know, yeah. these are smart girls, smart ladies, smart women. And here they are business owners going from here. So they, they have the, you know, what it takes to run a shop. And they also have a great variety. Um, they're in a great location as well. Yeah, it's a very Dom. cool area. Cool neighborhood. Um, well, all the neighborhoods in Montreal, I mean, geez. Oh my goodness, that's one of the things I love about Montreal. So the neighborhoods, neighborhoods, they're so fantastic. Each neighborhood, you're like in its own little town with shops and cafes. And every one of these yarn shops, you know, they're in a very distinct little yep. neighborhood district where you can, you know, the vibe even in the different locations are amazing. Yeah, so we hope that you love this episode as much as we enjoyed filming it. We loved we it. We had such a great time. and We look, laughed, he cried. Well, you cried too. No, I didn't. You did. You teared up, I no, cried. I did. <laughs> so we'd love to read your comments and uh, tell us what you thought of the, of the episode. But if you ever get to Montreal, make sure you check out these yarn shops. They're fantastic. And again, they, these are a handful of our tops. There are others. These are ones that we chose to go to this, we really like this time around. Yes. So take care, everyone. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. À la prochaine, mes amis. Au revoir.